Ha ha. Welcome to Pedal of the Day. And I am in the skeleton outfit because today we're going to look at the Hammer House Mark IV Tone Bender. So what's this all about? Well, if um, recently uh, I've, I've mentioned a few times that we, after making the Mark I's last year, we had some base paint left over. So uh, we had a few cases of various types sprayed up and they ended up looking like this, this super smooth black hammer. Um, and we had a bit of fun with the screen, ending up with this real mad monochrome looking fuzz, fuzzy Batman flash and the, and the white that made it stand out like a, something out of a Halloween party. So it was called the Hammer, hammer House Mark IV. Um, What's inside? That's the interesting thing. So if you've been watching us over the last year or so, you know we scored some amazing early 70s STC transistors. You got three of the silver ones in here, like the trade show special, but the big difference is the voicing. So what Dave's done with this, he's taken it and he's voiced it like the 76 Park three knob pedal, which we made for Marshall. Uh, incredible fuzz, really, really lively, nasty, sizzly fuzz. So um, yeah, let's have a little look inside it. Then we'll put it together and have a listen. Exciting days, eh? Just 50 of these for the world, folks. Um, Battery in, base plate on. I won't put the screws in because that's not good viewing, is it? See me putting screws in. Dave always gives me uh, tasting notes nowadays. So how did he describe this? The Hammer House Mark IV Tone Bender. Tasting notes, rich, full-bodied, juicy overtones with a delicate mint. It hasn't got a delicate mint. Juicy overtones with a delicate hint of vintage cream and Jane Russell's cigar. I'm looking forward to this. Got it. Ah, oh, there's some bit more fizz if you need it. Wasn't expecting that. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, treble on. It's like like <laughs> riding a real. Thank you, Rod. Like riding a real fast motorbike, but bass boost when you roll roll it down. That's something else. That is different. Very expressive. That is really unusual. Not that it's expressive. Of course, tone bends are expressive pedals, but it's how... Um, how much boost you get at the bass and how much that extra gain as it gets bassier. So from there, sort of quite... Um what, 70s, rehearsing in a garage. Sweet blues. That's, it, it's crazy. It's like, it goes from a, uh, a, a cheap champagne through to a thick, red, full-bodied, beautiful Bordeaux wine. And it looks like something out of a Halloween fun fair. There, we'll end on a minor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the hammer, horror, nastiness of the Mark IV tone bender. Roll and rock. Good night.